show really did disappoint me uh, unfortunately at the end here sure there's going to be a continuation but I honestly don't know it if I will keep up with it just depending on how I guess it turns out the first couple episodes <laughs> uh, but yeah super super let down with this finale of the uh, season man I wish they could at least made sense of it it's almost as if like the voice actress of the main character just was ready to be done and they didn't want to replace her so they're just like you know what screw it we're gonna kill her and then we're gonna make this young girl that has not showed any cases of having blue blood become the new her right like I mean, to be fair, when she, when her, you know, her sister that she calls her passes away, I guess it could have been a point in time where she drinks her blood, right? Or like crystallized her blood to get the power. But even if you do so, it usually turns into something more like the guy who took the crystal, like a weird mutated monster looking thing than keeping your human form, which the people with pure blood are the ones to do so because they're born as passed down through them instead of being forcibly taken. So there was no indicator that she ever had blue blood, um, especially when I think she died and it showed she had red blood. So, <laughs> so those things didn't add up at all. And then to top it off, you have the fact of the matter that this per this girl has been through so much. She's been through the ringer when it comes down to battles and recovered from them. Then all of a sudden you're telling me she gets stabbed one time in the back and she dies from it. On what earth? <laughs> like, did... They just, like, ignored the whole entire plot of why this character is as wanted as she is. Granted, a lot of the people in the village uh, were killed by, like, one cut as well. So I guess it's just a very bad writing on their point. Like, I guess if you hit a vital spot somehow that could actually kill these regenerate like these healing properties of these people you know so i honestly don't know what to feel about it i was i'm actually disappointed with how they tried to go across this whole death situation with us clearly having more information about them being able to survive quite a bit of a beating and even walk out of burning buildings scaring people while being destroyed and cut up um yeah and even having poison from snakes you know like my list of stuff could go on that she experienced and still came back from to then tell you that she got stabbed one time in her back and dies dies <sighs> anyway the show was pretty dark going forward uh from the very first episode it gave me a lot of vibes of the immortal blade but unfortunately the midpoint up to the end is the part that fell off like the midpoint was kind of cool because they were giving us more information about the other characters and why they were working and how they wanted different things out of the organization but they couldn't get it just like everybody else and then on the flip side we got to see how many people were lying and being fake <sighs> just to have two main characters completely destroyed uh, at the end of it the main dude and the main girl and for us to supposedly want to watch more with the young girl who isn't even really her sister but somehow has the exact same power as 
the girl that she, or as the woman that we were watching, so, I don't know how I feel about that, so, with that being said, I hope y'all are having an amazing one, um, I give the show a 6 out of 10, because the ending was so rough, I mean, if she just lived and became older, and then tried to, like, pass it on or something, like, cool, but just to kill her off from something that shouldn't have killed her was really stupid, but with that being said, that's just my opinion, and I'll talk to you in the next one, let me know what you think, or if you agree with me, I appreciate it, but if not, I always want to hear what y'all have to say about these types of things, but peace.